Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Wildlands. My name is Mara, and I can't remember what episode this is going to be. First and foremost, I would like anybody watching to hit the comment section and let me know if this mic is working. I have acquired another one, as obviously some were not hearing what I was hearing on my end. Um, every video I watch, I always snip it through before I post it and see if the volume on uh, my voice is correct. Well, here's hoping this one works. It's a, it's a headset, so I immediately think that it's going to work a little bit better, but I don't know for sure. I definitely think it'll be a lot uh, <clears throat> better on my, I guess, uh, horrible habit of kind of whispering sometimes. And I know that that might have been part of the problem, but... I hope it I hope it won't be the problem anymore anyway. Um so I have played a bit uh since our last video. If you did watch it at the Wildlands uh season one. Um I've kind of slowed down with it though because I don't want to drag it out, but um I also don't want it to end either, you know. I am going to build all of this, you know, eventually. One of the things that I don't want to do is get you guys into me gathering all the sand that it takes to freaking build these glass bulbs. Spheres, right? Yeah, spheres. Um, let's just, maybe I should go part of the planning with you. Yeah. Okay, so, um, I built, I really wanted these to be smaller, but there's really no other small option. Um, so, this is what we got. And I, I like it. I like the color contrast. It doesn't, it stands out, but it doesn't take away from the brightness of the fish, the tree, which is supposed to be a cherry blossom tree, if you can't figure that out. Um, this over here is going to be, I, I gotta find something flat and round, circular, to kind of mimic like people, uh, a coin collection jar. It's very prominent in a lot of the um, shrines that's in Japan. And seeing as this is a koi fish pond garden, that's what I'm going for. Um, I'm using the glass spheres like this. I don't want them to be too high. Well, why are you using the glass spheres? Um, initially, I really wanted something that felt or gave it a reflection and more of a translucent surface and this the windows don't do it at all so this is the next best thing it also gives that cool reflection wherever the sun's at and that's awesome it I I 
think it's the best thing I can get to actual real water. <clears throat> if you can't tell the four white fish and the bright red one, orangish red one is supposed to be reminiscent of the Japanese flag. What would I do if they gave us water? If they give us the ability to put water places or just have natural, um, let's say lakes. Um, I'd probably do another one with the hope that There is some way to some way to uh, get fish. Um, whether or not you know be uh, some kind of quest or something that they could implement, like a dungeon door where you have to figure out the code, that would be cool. And really, that's kind of it. Once I get all the glass down, I, I'm going to be pretty much, I'm going to be done with this portion. I am going love this scat 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 no the um it's not getting to be very great with the constant stop for 10 to 15 seconds oh um i have kind of built this up been messing with different colors um with steel plates it's supposed to be mimicking like uh like hard slate or um can't remember what the type of rock is, but generally a lot of ponds have like some kind of waterfall that starts from these kind of rock formations, and I figured it'd play right into it. I like how it's looking so far. Um, there we go. And so this is going to end, this walkway will end about right here. And, and I might actually take out that tree or both of those in the rock. Go this way between the two ginormous, um, are those rainforest? Yeah, tall rainforest trees up here. And I'm flattening this out, <coughs> which was mostly uh, <laughs> all jungle stuff. I'm glad I did that, but... Um, just so that I could have somewhere to gather instead of having to go back to the tropical island. Um, and here, or if I can figure out, maybe right up here. I'm not quite sure yet, but I'm going to make a um, one of the old you know, buildings reminiscent of Japan. I could real quick give me a second for something online. I don't know. Any of the Japanese uh, old uh, buildings.
buildings. There's a the famous one that's the golden one. I think that one's near, and in Osaka or Kyoto. And then there's a whole bunch over by uh, Mount Fuji. Um, where that happens to be where my wife's from. Okay. So, do I have any more sand? There's a few things I need. I need pigment. I don't have any sand whatsoever. What do I want to do? Um, oh, okay, so I was setting up a how did I do it type of thing. So glass sphere is going to be the top of the water. This is a bamboo corner block. This is a wood roof block. Um, the decorated stone corners, that's kind of what I outlined it in. down here somewhere. So, yeah. This is the corner piece of the square piece that I used. Um, So, initially I was going to use it as the waterfall that you see here. In some form or fashion. Um, but I liked so much the, the texture of the wooden roofing that that's what I went with. Uh, most of these are rainforest plants. Um, there's, you can't see the names of them, but... Um, hmm. these ones are dwarf pine mostly and the ones that with kind of the cool looking shapes like this one that is the dubious um, shrub I think uh, dwarf pine I haven't Savannah shrub. The Arctic willows. I need to plant more. Because I planted a bunch over here, but they really are kind of got lost. getting too dark for anybody to see anything. Oh, and I, I will finish. Uh, see? No, thank you. Uh, this portion, which will be eventually going through the bamboo to down in the um, ocean. But right now, let's uh, there needs to be a way to inside my head, I'm thinking, 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 thinking. Light it up, could I do it with mushrooms? No. 
I could, but I don't want to. Do lanterns. My mouse is super. too much. There we go. It's a new mouse, so bear with me. It's got like <laughs> um, 12 different buttons. Oh, what do you need for a lantern? iron and a hammer then I could color them okay so what would you use as a post a pull That's, that looks perfect. I can make a flashlight. I'll do an energy episode later. Right now, I need to get this thing done. was thinking about using the industrial railing um, and putting it on a white or a dark grayish color but it just stood up too much for the, the side I thought anyway that's why that didn't happen that way these are all the old coins obviously some are gold some are um, silver because I colored them that way The fish are actually pretty simple. They've got um, three. I did not remember doing him white on the bottom, but okay. They got three sets. They got the lower half, the upper half, and then they're, they're like uh, dorsal fins, if you will. Uh, and their mouth is always a uh, bluish color, so you can't change that. posted on Twitter a picture uh, maybe a week ago um, when I wasn't quite done I hadn't I had built the floorboards of this down but um, the person I got that you know the idea from she 
you know, built a little small um, koi fish pond, colored some of the, the fish that she caught from out in the ocean with the fishing pole and colored them and put them in the middle there. I was like, oh man, that's a brilliant idea. I posted that and she, she did, so this is a withered tree um, and then snowballs, um, some peak, some I just left the white of their color. I didn't use the stone chunks because they're just odd shaped, you know, but I initially was going to use stone chunks. Um, and I thought about doing it all pink, but then that doesn't, that's not what a cherry blossom tree looks like. Um, what did she use? She used, uh, cotton and I planted a bunch for the purpose of using cotton. However, have any in my hand no I must have chopped it somewhere I did have some pink have been anywhere at this point. Um, I colored a pink and it, it would have taken too much time. Uh, I guess I could put it that way. So growing the butt week, but buck wheat and the cotton is really just for what I'm gonna show you here in a moment. And I'll break some of these down and use them as seeds and replant a bunch of this. But main reason for these. is for pigment. Because who wants to, do I have any? Yes, I do. Flax, cotton, drop that in the pigment jar. You, you run through that stuff very, <clears throat> excuse me, very quickly. something 25 minutes
It would be really nice if the sand just kept on going. I'll fill this all in a little bit later. This, the glass mine. <laughs> do this side for a little bit and then go melt this all down make a bunch I got a lot of crafting potions oh you know what this is the perfect time to use my thing I never used yet ding 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 Oh, okay, so um, we're inside my uh, crafting area. However, location inside other players protect a barrier. So the only way to fix that is really to destroy it. <clears throat> Excuse me. With um, um, opening it up in editor, editor. Uh, oh, let's eat real quick. Where did I put that thing? Oh, boom. <laughs> oh, well, that's a bummer. They could stack it better.
Is that all of it? Man. So one small wild land wildandium power cell. Piece of chalk, that's something new. I found one the other day. You just dug yourself into a hole and you can't get out. Watch me. If I hit control, will it pick everything up? No. Wishful thinking. At least you guys shouldn't be hearing the clicking too much. Yeah, you might be picking it up a little bit if I'm looking at it correctly. Da -da 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 -da. One heck of a way to build an underground base, that's for sure. Gonna let all the water in. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay. I haven't used my mi new mining thing on. Um. You call it coal or iron or copper or sandstone or anything like that. Um, and I know this place is kind of a mess with all of this. No fuel. Now we're ready to rock and roll. Potion crafting, as you can see, I've got a lot. Only 208. Oh, I got one more glass ball.
not going to be nearly enough, but, well, I don't think it will be 13. I was thinking I'm probably in the, <clears throat> maybe needing it in the 50 range. I really hope they make the glass things stackable. I gonna I'll make that one bowl and that one okay we my eyes tell me right that should have been plenty. Oh, it's a late one here. Yeah, it's. I gotta get to bed here soon. Soon, soon, soon. Yeah, maybe I could do a little bit better with the spacing. But as I've been thinking about it, more has been and been. More has been looking better. If you were wondering, I know that a lot of the fish are already inside the glass bowls, but you can. And they'll stay exactly where they're at. You guys can see that it'll move all the shrubbery. That's a little bit better. <laughs> I'll have to color them and I'll fix them later. All right, guys. Well, this is just, you know, kind of a short update. I am doing videos on a few other games now. Um, my time in Porsche, I might redo the first one because I got 
a few complaints about the video uh, sound quality on that one, so I might have to do the first one over again on that one. Um, I'm also really enjoying uh, Wolf Scene, Lords of Mam. That's freaking funner than fun. It's Diablo 2 level. Um, it's a, not a MOBA, but a action RPG. So um, developers are saying they get a lot of what they're doing from uh, Diablo 2, and really there isn't anything that has superseded um, Diablo 2. Uh, there's been attempts, Diablo 3, um, I think they're actually already talking about doing Diablo 4, um, but I think this, this one's going to be, it's going to be a good one. And it's an early, early access. You can play the game, but you know the the characters are not. Uh, I wanted to say vindictive, but that's not the word. They're not a, a good representation of um, trying to find a good picture spot for the. Uh, photo shoot now it's all windy that's cool I may have to get an aerial full view because I I can't get high or back enough. I have to get like up here. Almost done. Sorry for the burp. <clears throat> I might have to catch the moon. I'm going to have to clear out some of the bamboo in the back there. Anyway, guys, um, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed and you want to see more of Wildlands, I still have lots of building I'm going to do. I got the bank that I want to do. Got to finish up the sushi bar. This is going to be a tower. Um, a very, 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 very high tower. I want snow on top of this thing. And we don't get snow on this island. So we're going to see if it, if um, we can get snow. Uh, if we go high enough. Anyway. Um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, comment below again on the sound and the voice recording. I know I'm not really excited and enthused, but I am tired. Um, so, uh, give me a little bit of leniency on the, well, we can hear you fine, but you need more pep, more uh, of a pep. Yeah, kick in your in your voice. Pretty mellow. Naturally, so <laughs> if you guys are here for the you know crazy exciting thrill ride, um you'll have to watch some of my what's the other one I'm doing? survive the nights however right now also in early access and it is um, 
I, I, I go in there and it's it's invisible invisible zombies, so nothing great or nothing too much that I can do about it. Can't really play when the stuff that kills you is invisible. Well, again, this is Zabara. Have a good night, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed. And yeah, see you on the next episode. I'll try to do a few this weekend. Today is February 2nd of 2018. Good night.